All right, so let's do the leg. Ready, everybody? Mm -hmm. So let's start with the, from the top. So over here, this, is, this bone is called the hip bone, and this part is called the ilium. Okay, and this is the ileal crest. This is the part you feel when you put your hand on it. Okay, this is the ileal crest, and this is the anterior superior iliac spine. On the inside, you have this muscle, which is called the iliacus. Okay, so this is the iliacus, and this is the psoas. Psoas muscle, and together, they act together, and this is called the ileal psoas. So this is the iliopsoas muscle, and um, then on the back of the uh, uh, buttocks you have this big muscle here, which is a gluteus maximus. Maximus means big, and inside you have the gluteus medius. So gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and uh, which compartment is this now, which I'm holding? This is on the inside of the thigh. So which compartment would this be? Moves inside. A D ductor, right? This is a adductor compartment. So these muscles causes adduction. So we are going to start with the first muscle here. This is the actinius. This is the adductor longus. This is the uh, adductor magnus and this is the um, gracilis. So gracilis, adductor magnus, adductor longus, and actinius. Okay. Now there's a long muscle here and this muscle is called the sartorius. That's the longest muscle in the body, sartorius. And over here there's a muscle which is called the tensor facial lata. So this is a tensor facial lata. This is a sartorius. Between the two, you have these muscle groups, which is the muscles of the anterior compartment of the thigh. Okay, that causes flexion of the thigh. And this muscle is called, these muscles are this group of muscle. It's a four muscles in this group. It's called the quads, the quadriceps. So the quadriceps has got one muscle in the middle, this is the rectus femoris. There's one on the medial side, this is the vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and the fourth muscle is under the rectus femoris, and that's called the vastus intermedialis. So vastus medialis, lateralis, rectus femoris, and underneath the rectus femoris is the uh, vastus intermediates. So that completes the anterior compartment muscles. Let's go to the posterior compartment. So when you go to the posterior compartment, you have these muscles, they are called the hamstrings. So this is called the, uh, the first one is called the uh, uh, brachii, uh, femoris brachii. And uh, this is called the semi-tendinosis. Uh, and this small one here is called the, the small one here is called the uh, uh, semi-membraneosis. So uh, uh, the, the brachii, the uh, tendinosis, and membraneosis. Those are the muscles in the posterior compartment. And they cause, what's the movement that they make? Extension, back, and moves it to the back. Now coming to the lower leg, we have some muscles in the anterior compartment here. So these muscles, they act on the foot. Okay, they cause dorsiflexion. Move it up like this, so moving the leg up. Dorsiflexion of the foot. So the most anterior muscle here is the tibia, uh, tibialis anterior. Over here, you have a muscle which goes, but it goes into the digits. So let's call it extensor digitorum. 
Okay, you had the same thing in the in the hand. So extend the digitorum, and on laterally over here you have the fibularis longus. So fibularis longus, extensive digitorum, tibialis, anterior. So that completes the anterior muscles. Let's go to the posterior muscles. So this muscle here, which is called the calf muscle, is gastrocnemius, and there are two heads. There is a medial head, there is a lateral head. So if I put a, a marker here, and I say I identify this one, you would say this is gastrocnemius muscle, medial head. And if I put it here, lateral head. Under the gastrocnemius muscle, you have a muscle called soleus. They two, both of them come out together and they join a common tendon. This is called the calcaneal tendon and this is also called the Achilles tendon, which is an area where there's a lot of pain sometimes and uh, that's called the Achilles foot. That's all I'm going to ask you in the exam. So if you know this much, you're good.